Hey everybody, I'm Marie of the Quilted Poodle. On one of the Grace Facebook pages, I noticed someone asked if you could take a signature, import it into PatternCAD, and then create a quilting file from that. Well, yes you can. The only issue was she had a PNG file. So the first thing you have to do is convert your PNG file into a bitmap or a JPEG file and then save that on your computer and then go into PatternCAD and import it. I'll show you quickly how to do that. From your initial screen, go to PatternCAD and go to background because we have to bring in that picture. Load image and I'm going to use this file called Yes. And there you can see it. There are a couple ways you can do this. If you're at your quilting machine, you will actually be moving the head of your machine to trace the word yes. At your machine, you'll use the record feature to record or trace your word. And then you will be creating your digital file that way. But since I'm in simulation mode, I'm just going to use my mouse and trace the words as best that I can and show you what that's going to look like. So I want to have my nodes selected, that is turned on, and then I'm going to go to draw. And for my node spacing, I am going to reduce that to two. So I'm going to use my mouse and trace the word yes, and you will notice that it will create a number of nodes as I'm tracing the words. And again, if you are at your quilting machine, you would be moving your machine in the direction that's going to follow the contours of the word yes. And using a mouse, I'm really, really bad at this. Normally, I will use my tablet and use a stylus with a very sharp nib that allows me to trace right on the screen and get it very close to what my image looks like. But I think you'll get the idea. Okay. So when I'm done, I'll release my left mouse button, and that's what I have. And the next thing I'm going to do is go to Edit. I'm going to Select All, and then I'm going to Simplify. So it takes away any of the nodes that aren't really necessary in order to create the shape that I've just outlined. And then what I'm going to do is go to Background, and I'm going to clear the image away. And just to see what this is going to look like, well, I can remove my nodes. And that's what it looked like. It looks like I had, I know it looks like I had too much coffee, but you can really get this smoothed out even a little bit more. So let's turn the nodes back on and it's all selected and I will smooth. All right, now I'm gonna turn the nodes off. You really can see the word yes. So turn the nodes back on and I wanna save this image. So from there, I'll save it, and then I can quilt it out, and it will quilt out as a block pattern. Now, there's another way that you can achieve the same thing. It's a little more tedious, but it still works. So let's clear this away, and I'll go back to background and load my image again. I'm going to use yes. All right, there's my image. So now the first thing I need to do is to begin to create nodes and shaped to the word that I have there. So with nodes turned on, I'm gonna to go to draw. I'm going to choose splines because that will give me two handles to pull and tug on in order to take my straight line and make it more curved to follow the contours of my design. I don't need node spacing. I'm gonna use continuous line. So in fact, I have node spacing turned off. I'm gonna Hold down on my left mouse button and just drag over to here and let go. And then beyond that, I only need to click and I will be creating nodes. And then I will go back and curve the lines to follow the contour of my word. So this is going to be really quick and dirty, as I always say in my Zoom classes. It's going to be quick and dirty but we'll get it done. If I was doing this for real, yes, I would spend a little bit more time on it. But I just want you to get the ideal 
that, yes, it is possible to take a word and to create a pattern from it. All right, so I've got my nodes in, in place, and now I need to go to Edit. And when you want to edit your line, you have to select two points or two nodes. And once you've done that, it will make visual for you the two handles that are associated with spline. If I had used arc, there'd only be one handle that you could adjust. So I'm going to grab the handles and kind of make them adjust to the line or the contour of my word. So again, in order to shape a straight line, when you have splines, you have to select the nodes at either end of the line. So I'm going to unselect this one and select this next node. And notice you have your two handles that are now visible. So I'm going to shape unselect this node, select that node, and my handles are just about right there. So I'm just going to leave that one alone. So I will, let's see, unselect this one, select this one. There's my handles. I'm going to shape it. Unselect that one, select this next one. And if it becomes difficult for you to see where your nodes are, if you've placed them too close together, you can always use the magnifier up here and enlarge your image so that maybe you can visualize it a little bit better. Unselect that node, select this one. Um, and again, they're so very close together, but I will round that out just a little bit. Unselect that one, select this one, and there's my two handles. And they're pretty well spaced there. Okay, unselect that one. Select this one. And I'm going to drag this down so that I can better shape the end of my letter. And I'm actually going to unselect that one. And with this one selected, I'm going to move it in just a tad. Okay, unselect that one. Select this one. Select that one. And again, unselecting that one to move this one in a little more. Unselect that one, move this one in a little bit more. You don't always have to use the handles. Sometimes it's just a matter of moving your nodes. So as you can see, you're done in no time. Now I can remove the image from the background. I'll go to background and clear, and then I can see what I have and make any other adjustments. So I can see I don't have quite nice curves over here. So I may, let's see, let's select this one and this one and see if we can't do a little editing that will make that look a little rounder. Okay, like that. And right here, and I'm gonna make that a little bit bigger. Oops. And see if I can't make that a little better.
and it just depends on how much fiddling you want to do with it. There, that's better. Okay. And of course, right here. Okay, for all practical purposes, that looks pretty good. So if I turn my nodes off, you can see very clearly, you can see the word yes. So at this point, I would want to save my digital file and then I could go to quilt and then you can stitch that out. So it's really very easy. Yes, you can do this.